Hey guys, uh, hope you're all doing good and welcome to Skill Links Career Series. Today we have an interesting question from Jai Makija. It was asked on our LinkedIn platform, right? So the question is actually really nice. So I believe Jai is a fresher and uh, is a bachelor student and is looking for opportunities in CFD. Some of you might know that CFD stands for computational fluid dynamics. And this is where, you know, you're using computers to simulate fluid flow, right? So uh, what can Jay do here and what can others who are in a similar situation do? Well, Jay, I don't know your current profile, but you know, these are some of the things uh, that you should look at. If you're a bachelor's student, right? Uh, you just now completed your bachelor's and you have a decent profile, then the easiest way to get a CFD related job is getting a meshing only related job. So as you might know, or as if you're a student who already knows a bit of CFD, meshing is the first stage, correct? For this, you would uh, you know use tools like Pointwise, right? Uh, so if you're basically looking for a meshing based job, then that's easy to get. But typically, uh, I would say that, you know, if you have low GPA, meaning if your uh, GPA is less than 7.0 or if your percentage is less than 70, this is the type of opportunities that you will mainly get. Now, the second type of opportunity is meshing plus solver, right? And this is kind of what a CFD engineer does. They use tools uh, like pointwise uh, to create the meshes or they can also use tools like ANSYS uh, Mesher or, you know, tools like Star CCM and they would mesh the geometry and they would use the solver to run the simulation. So what does that mean? For example, you can be working for a company that creates exhaust manifolds. So you might be running simulations, uh, flow simulations, where you are looking at how the hot gases actually flow through the exhaust manifold. And you would be the person who measures the geometry. In fact, even does the CAD preparation a little bit, measures the geometry, runs the simulations, and does some engineering based upon the results that you get from the simulation. So this is a very nice profile or a very nice job profile. And typically anyone who wants to get into CFD wants to do this, correct? But the trigger is your GPA. If you have really low GPAs, the chances of you getting that type of an opportunity is very low, but it is not zero. If you still want to do this, you should ideally go and look for startups. If you have low GPAs, look for startups because they will let you do both because they're going to pay you less. That's basically the reality. Now, if you have decent GPS, you can still go for startups and small companies. The thing with small companies is, you know, they don't have strict rules that, hey, if you, you need an MTech, you need an ME degree, only then you can do CFD now company, right? Small companies don't have strict rules, but they have a strict interview process. So if you're able to clear the interview, if you're able to show them that, you know, you have good profile, then they would still take you. Now, the other side of this is ME. Now, right off the bat, if you have a ME or MTech degree, getting a CFD related job is going to be very easy. But if you have an okay profile, meaning you didn't do very well in your MTech, right? You have very low GPA and your projects are also questionable and the quality is pretty bad, then you can basically uh, get or look for a meshing only job, right? So here you are basically meshing large components using commercial tools. Now, if you're ME and if you have a decent profile, then getting a meshing plus solver related job, right? This is what I call as a CFD engineer or an application engineer job. This becomes easy. Again, the trigger there is if you, depending on your GPA, you can get into tier one, tier two or tier three companies. If you don't know what tier one, tier two and tier three companies are, check out the link below for uh, a video. Now, another type of opportunity, which is primarily given for people with say ME, and above, right? So you either need MTech or you need PhD. And that's called as software development job. So this is where you're writing computer programs to develop the CFD solver, right? In order to get this type of a job opportunity, you should have an excellent profile in your MTech degree, plus one or two publications minimum, where you have demonstrated your ability to write computer programs for performing fluid simulations. If you're a PhD student, who is specializing in CFD, then that becomes fairly straightforward. What type of companies do you work for? Well, you can get jobs in companies like Altair, uh, Convergence Science, 
or uh, even ANSYS, right? Because they develop these products. So when you actually go ahead and uh, learn how to, uh, you know, write CFD codes, you can directly go and work for them if you do a good job. Now, coming back to uh, Jay's case. So Jay, what do you have to do? Looks like you're a BE guy. So Jay, I'm assuming you've already gained the required skills. You should focus on walk-ins and direct messaging on LinkedIn so that you can get opportunities in startup companies. I would say focus on startup and small companies and LinkedIn is a great place for that because you can actually look for companies that do engineering consultancy. You can look at the type of work that they do by looking at the website and you can look at how big that company is by again looking at insights about that company on LinkedIn. All right. I hope you found this video useful, Jay. Now, guys, if you're watching this video, you can actually get personal guidance provided you are a mechanical, uh, you know, mechanical engineer or aerospace engineer. What do you have to do is very simple. Like this video, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Bye.